The third time demonetization took place was in the year 2016. Yes, it was 8th of November 2016 when Prime Minister Narendra Modi he announced the demonetization process at 8 p.m. on in the night, right? And uh, from 12 midnight, the 500 rupees notes and 1000 rupees notes they were discontinued or demonetized. Now, the argument which was given, you know, at this point of time in the year 2016, right, for demonetization is primarily three factors. The first was corruption, second was black money, and third was terrorism, right. So these were, the, these three were the key arguments which actually went in favor of demonetization and demonetization was, you know, done with, a, with this purpose of curbing all these three, terrorism, corruption, and you know black money generation so uh, when the demonetization actually happened as we all know that 500 rupees notes and 1000 rupees notes were discontinued and at that point of time it was replaced by fresh 500 rupees notes and 2000 rupees notes right earlier 2000 rupees notes were never there in the economy so now we can see these days that we do have access to 500 rupees newer notes and 2000 rupees newer notes but as a result of that, you know, what, what was the actual difference between the demonetizations which actually happened in 1946 and 1978, right? How those two demonetizations were different from the demonetization that happened in the year 2016 is that in 2016, out of the total currency which was floating in the Indian market, right? Out of the total currency, approximately 85 to 87 percent of the currency, right? were in the form of 500 rupees and 1000 rupees notes and that really means if approximately 85 percent of our currency is in these two denominations then by and large the larger masses are having access to these notes that really means from a daily wage laborer to a very wealthy businessman everybody is having access to these 500 rupees and 1000 rupees notes now when it was demonetized just you know, you know, in the in one announcement, and you know, within a span of just three to four hours, it was demonetized. So it created a lot of shock in the economy, right? Actually, by and large, the entire country felt the after effect of demonetization. And you know, after effect of demonetization can is very upper apparent, and you know, through through the longer queues which we can, we used to see in in front of the banks. You know, people used to, you know, stand in the queues for longer hours for the entire day and night in order to ex either exchange their notes or in order to deposit their notes. So for, from, you know, in the month of November and December, right, the, the effect was very prominent in the Indian economy. So uh, this was the difference, wherein the 1946 and 1978, by and large, you know, the masses did not feel the effect of demonetization in the year 2016 everybody felt the need of uh, felt the effect of demonetization right so in this way it was pretty different from the you know the last two demonetizations so thank you so much friends uh, thanks for you know uh, watching the video